Let's look in detail at what life as an investment banking professional is like. 7.30 a.m. Arrive at work and start checking through the news on market developments on Wall Street in Europe and how the Asian markets have opened. This is important since the UAE is comfortably positioned in the intermediate time zone between the East and the West, and developments on either side can significantly impact markets and the investments made by investors. Analysts and associates are the first ones to make it to the office. 8.30 a.m. You have your first meeting of the day. It is an internal meeting to catch up on tasks that have been completed the previous day, as well as to strategize and prioritize work for the rest of the day. 9 a.m. Head back to the desk and start going through the emails that have accumulated overnight. You would have received trade confirmations on the trades you have closed the previous day. Trade confirmations are legal documents that confirm all the commercial and legal aspects of the trades, and therefore it is vital that all information on the confirmations is correct before they are sent out to the clients. 10.30 a.m. You have a meeting at 12 p.m. with a hedge fund client so you need to get ready for the meeting. The client is currently in the process of buying another company and the bank is providing several billion pounds of loan to finance this acquisition. Your role is to create a financial model in Excel as well as putting a couple of PowerPoint slides together to give the client an update on the marketing activities. 12 p.m. The exciting nature of this business is that even as an analyst, you will be given huge responsibilities and client-facing opportunities at the very early stage of your career. During the meeting, you and other senior managers explain the risks involved in the acquisition and then provide a few risk management solutions to the client. The client finalizes on one of the strategies provided by you and wants to see a detailed solution. 2 p.m. You have just finished lunch and now it's time to get back to work. You are working on a financial restructuring project for a client that has been facing significant losses. Your team is working on putting together proposals to help them raise capital to negotiate with existing lenders. As you are representing the client who is trying to fight bankruptcy, you are expected to have not just financial knowledge, but also have experience and knowledge about legal concepts. 3.30 p.m. Analysts and associates usually catch up together for a quick coffee with the VPs and MDs around this hour too. This is a fundamental part of working in most investment banking firms, as networking and forming connections across different teams is given great importance. Hence, these coffee breaks are highly encouraged. Knowing different company products and having knowledge of different aspects of investment banking can really come handy during client meetings when asked difficult questions. 4 p.m. Analysts on an average work on two to three projects simultaneously. Some of these would require you to undertake financial modeling, preparing pitch decks, as well as formal paperwork and documentation to be evaluated. You continue working on preparing a detailed analysis for the client you met earlier during the day. 7.30 p.m. You'll probably head out for a quick dinner and then be back and finish some internal practice work, like formulating reports based on industry trends. While these may seem mundane, these tasks help to get visibility around the organization and are important KPIs to fulfill. 9.30 p.m. Head out for a quick workout. Investment banking professionals are not only meticulous with numbers and data, but also look great and maintain a professional, well-groomed appearance. 11 p.m. Time to send reports created today to the printing division so that they can be printed out and ready before the VP comes to the office the next morning. Send out emails with all the verified and signed legal documents and agreements that you have received from the client. As an analyst, you are expected to liaison between the company and postal and printing services so your managers can have everything ready on their desk.